Okay, so this is a continuation of the problem from section uh, 10.5, and this is parts 3 and 4. Uh, we still are choosing four people from a total of 25, 21 students, and four faculty, and the total number of possibilities for 25, uh, choose four is 12,650. Part C asks us if we choose all students. So our part, of course, is going to be we have... Uh, 21 students we are going to choose for okay so that's going to give me 21 factorial over 4 factorial times 21 minus 4 factorial okay that's going to of course give me 21 factorial over 4 factorial times 17 factorial this leaves me with 21 times 20 times 19 times 18 all over 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Uh, when I put that into the calculator, we find that that is going to give me um, divided by uh, 4 times 3 times 2. That gives me a possibility of 5,985. That's the part. Remember, once again, we are finding the probability. And so I know my probability is going to be 5,985 out of the whole, which is going to be 12,650. When I say 5,985 divided by 12,650, this gives me 0 0.4731225. Once again, I need it to five decimal places. One, two, three, four, five. There's a two behind that. I can simply chop these off. And that should give me my answer of 0. 0.47312. Okay, uh, part four says one faculty member and three students. Once again, the whole that we have on our part over whole is 12,650. So I need to calculate the chances of, well not chances, I need to calculate the possible combinations of one faculty member, okay? So I have four faculty members. I'm going to choose one. So that gives me four factorial over one factorial times four minus one factorial. That gives me four factorial over one factorial times three factorial, which is four over one, which is four, okay? Now I need to have one faculty member and three students. So I have 21 students. I'm going to choose three. So that's uh, 21 factorial over uh, three factorial times 21 minus three factorial. That's gonna give me 21 factorial over three factorial times 18 factorial. Uh, that will leave me with 21 times 20 times 19 all over 3 times 2 times 1, which is going to give me 21 times 20 times 19, 7980 over 6, which is really uh, 1,330. So when I'm calculating that probability, that's going to give me, of course I'm doing probability, of one faculty and three students. So that gives me um, four, choose one, times 21, choose three, all over, uh, 25, choose four. 25 doesn't look nice. Let me fix him. 25, choose 4. And that will give me um, 4 times 21, choose 3, which we found to be 1,330. All over 25, choose 4, which is still 12,650. Uh, and that will give me 4 times 1330. Divided by 12650, which winds up giving me 0 
three. I went to five decimal places. One, two, three, four, five. There's a three back there. I can simply chop that off. And that does give me my answer of 0 0.42055.